Hello everybody, welcome to the third video on this relay board project I've been working on. If you haven't watched the first two, I suggest you at least go watch the first video. It will give some background information and a very, very basic overview of the final circuit diagram that I'm going to be using, as well as what I'm building it for and why I'm building it and a little bit on the software. Uh, the major changes from those videos is that everything is now on three boards. I have relays, I have a ULN 2003, and I have the OLED. Um, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and plug this puppy up to the computer so it'll boot. And you can see the name pop up and the relay comes on. And of course, nothing was on until the blue light came on. And if I press buttons, the lights will change, indicating that the relay is clicking, activating, and it turns the LED on. Remote works too. That's how I get Phono 1 right now. You can just have a ball pushing buttons, making it go back and forth, and changing things. Of course, as I said, I've changed the name. It is now Hi-Fi Logics. I don't know why I came up with that name. I just thought it was a nice name. Uh, so yeah, the problem with these relays is they're single pole, single throw. Instead of the double pole, single throw they were supposed to have been. Uh, in fact, apparently these are not even the relays I thought they were. And I blew up my power supply because I didn't realize the pinout was drastically different from every other relay I've been using for the last 20 years. Uh, that's it. I wish I had a longer video and more to tell you, but you know, really I just, I'm just filming an update. Um, go watch the first video, go watch the second video and hopefully you'll figure out more what I'm doing. As soon as I get all this on a piece of perf board, I will do one final overall video. Um, I wish I had more of the development process, but nobody wants to watch me stuffing boards, cussing at code, and, you know, all the garbage that came up on the screen until I finally got everything to look right. All right, well, uh, that's it for now. Don't forget the links to the first two videos, in case you're lost, are in the description. The link to the GitLab with uh, mostly full schematics, more documentation and code are also in the description. And if you're, if you're interested in building this for your own stereo, <clears throat> I can't say I'm going to do any design on it, but if you let me know what model you have, I might be interested in, in helping customize a build or, or something. Um, really, I think really what the what this code's going to do is it's mostly going to be taking input and driving outputs. However you interface this into your stereo is going to be all up to you. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and putting up with my unorganized shaky videos. One of these days I will sit down, I will write a script, I will do a proper video. Until then, I will just keep being the tinkerer that tinkers. So have a good one.